Hello, welcome to WizKids. WizKids is a quick recall academic competition for fourth and fifth grade students from area schools. My name is Dave Duda and I will be your moderator. Even though the teams are familiar with the rules, I would like to state that although WizKids is similar to Governor's Cup, it is a Hardin County Schools competition. Today's contestants are from Creekside and Lakewood Elementaries. Now let's meet the team members and coach from Creekside. First is Gracie Blair. Gracie Blair is the daughter of Sean and Stacy Blair of Sonora. Gracie is in fifth grade and she likes to play sports like ba basketball, vo volleyball, and football with her family. She earned a proficient in math and a distinguished in reading on the Cape Rep test last spring. When Gracie sh grows up, she wants to be a teacher for sight and hearing impaired students. Second is Connor Dupin likes to play football with friends. Connor is in fourth grade and his favorite sub school subject is math. Connor wants to someday be an engineer. Third, we have Braden Co Brady Copeland. is a fifth grade student at Creekside. He is the son of Adam and Abby Copeland of Uptown. His mother is a teacher at Creekside and his dad works for Hart County Schools. He likes to play baseball, basketball, and football, but his favorite sport is baseball. His plan is to go to East Harden middle school next year and be awesome. Last, Alex Meredith is the son of Ben and Andrew <coughs> Meredith of Glendale. Alex plays on the fourth grade basketball team for Creekside. He enjoys playing football and playing Fortnite. When Alex grows up, he wants to be a farmer or an explorer. Becky Dennis is a fourth grade teacher at Creekside. She is a graduate of Western Kentucky University and has been a teacher in Harding County Schools for over 30 years. She and her husband Roger live in Upton and have two children. She enjoys breeding, gardening, and traveling. We will now meet the team and coaches from Lakewood. First up we have Madison Smith who is a fourth grade student at Lakewood Elementary. She is the daughter of Gina and Steve Smith. Madison's favorite subject is reading and she also enjoys cross country. When she, when she grows up Madison wants to be a photographer. Second, we have Utkar Sharma, is the, son of, is the son of KK and Nia Sharma. He is a fifth grader at Lakewood Elementary and enjoys science. Utkar also enjoys playing the guitar and would like to become an artist when he grows up. Here we have Seth Hamilton, is a fifth grade student at Lakewood Elementary. He is the son of Eric and Kathy Hamilton. Seth enjoys writing and playing in a competitive basketball league. When he grows up, Seth wants to be a mechanical engineer. Fourth, we have Carter Reinhardt, is the son of Phyllis Westfall and Kelsey Westfall. He is, a fifth grade, he is a fifth grader and he enjoys math. He is a member of the Vex Robotics team, treble course, and instrumental music group. When he grows up, he wants to be an engineer or a science professor. Miss Taylor is a first grade teacher at Lakewood Elementary. She lives in Rineville and she, ha she has three children and two grandchildren. In her spare time, Miss Taylor likes to garden and, re and refinish old furniture. Miss Abel is a resource teacher at Lakewood Elementary. She lives in Elizabethtown with her husband and six children. In her spare time, Miss Abel enjoys reading and completing cross-stitch projects. Coaches, you may return to your seats at this time. Teams, are you ready? Contestants, remember you may interrupt the reading of a toss-up question by buzzing in. However, if your answer is inc incorrect, the question will be reread in its entirety for the opposing team. Teams may confer on bonus questions but the team captain must give the response. Remember, the bounce back bonus will be in effect. All questions are worth one point and each half is 10 minutes long. The first question is a toss up for either team. In 1807, Fulton steamboat, the Claremont, steamed 150 miles up the Hudson River from New York to Albany in 32 hours. To the nearest whole number, the ship traveled at how many miles per hour? Time, five miles per hour. Two, toss up. The name for what huge mammalian herbivore was derived from the Greek, the Greek words potamus meaning river, and hippus, meaning horse. Creekside and Meredith. Hippopotamus. Correct. Three, bonus. 
To what body of water was William Clark referring when he wrote this in his journal in 1805? Ocean in view, oh the joy. The Atlantic Ocean. Incorrect, Captain? No answer. The Pacific Ocean. Four, toss up. Forces is an anagram for what type of painting on moist plaster? Time, fresco. Five, toss up. How many syllables are in the fourth line of the poem that begins with these three lines? Dr. Bell fell down the well and broke his collarbone. Doctors should attend the sick. Time, six. Number six, toss up. Organs comprising what system move blood throughout a mammal's body? Lakewood, Reinhardt. Hesitation. Yeah, Time, circulatory. Seven, toss up. The name of what birds is missing in this verse of a poem from the wind in the willows? All along the backwater, through the rushes tall, Blanks are a dabbling, up tails all. Ducks. This stands toss up. This stanza is from what song? And every time they shoot it off, it takes a horn of powder and makes a noise like father's gun, only a nation louder. Time, Yankee Doodle. Nine, toss up. The Orient is another name for the eastern part of what continent? Lakewood Hamilton. Europe. Incorrect. Creekside Dupin. Asia. Correct. <laughs> Ten. Bonus. Convert four thousand one hundred forty thousandths into a decimal numeral. Time, Captain. Hesitation, 4.14. 11, toss up. How is the plural formed with these words? Chorus, chrysalis, carcass, callus. Creekside Meredith. Add S. Incorrect. Lakewood Hamilton. Add ES. Correct. Twelve, bonus. Voters are often reminded that what elective office is but a heartbeat from the presidency? Secretary. Incorrect, Captain. No answer. The Vice President. Thirteen, toss up. What art form is illustrated by shrubs that have been trimmed and clipped to resemble such things as squirrels, dinosaurs, chess pieces, and castles? Creekside Meredith. Topiary. Correct. 14, bonus. 
convert one fourth percent to a fraction. Time, Captain? No answer. One four hundredth. Fifteen, toss up. What season is it in Argentina when the cherry blossoms are blooming in Washington, D.C.? Lakewood, Hamilton. Spring. Incorrect. Creekside, Meredith. Winter. Incorrect. Fall. 16, toss up. An even number multiplied by an odd number results in what kind of number? Lakewood Sharma. Even. Correct. 17 bonus. Name the last continent to be discovered. Antarctica. Correct. 18. Toss up. Name the special brick used to hold the heat in the kiln and withstand high temperatures. Lakewood Hamilton. Adobe. Incorrect. Time, fire brick. 19, toss up. What is a male goose called? Time, gander. 20, toss up. What is the third word in the word square if the first two are bag and ape? Time, get. get. 21, toss up. About 90% of Mexico's 86 million people belong to what religion? Lakewood Sharma. Hispanic. Incorrect. Time, Roman Catholicism. 22, toss up. Name the northernmost of the four corner states with a Spanish name. Time, Colorado. 23, toss up. Name the vessels through which blood returns to the heart. Lakewood Sharma. Veins. Correct. 24 bonus. What is 30% of 300? 10. Incorrect, Captain. No answer. 90. 25, toss up. Name either device indicated in this line but time is tied to the wrist or kept in a box ticking with impatience. Creekside Meredith. Watch. Correct. 26 bonus. At the end of the first half, the score is Creekside 4, Lakewood 4. Welcome back to the second half of WizKids between Creekside and Lakewood Elementaries. During the half, the following substitutions were made. Joining the team from Creekside is Stephen Caderas, and from Lakewood Elementary is Luke Nelson. Teams, let's begin the second half of today's competition with a toss-up question. It was a clay dome within which pots were stacked upside down on a shelf. Fuel was piled within and around the structure. Temperatures up to 1,000 degrees could be achieved. Name this device of antiquity used to fire pottery. Time. 
Time, a kiln. Two, tasa. Name the rhythmic rising and falling of water observed along the shores of oceans, seas, and large lakes. Creekside Meredith. Tide. Correct. Three, bonus. The real estate that comprises all or part of California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico was acquired by the U.S. in 1848 from what country? Mexico. Correct. Four, TASA. What punctuation mark is used after initials? Lakewood Reinhardt. Period. Correct. Five, bonus. What is the greatest common divisor of these numbers? 14, 28, 35, 49. Seven. Correct. Six, toss up. Which four corner state borders Texas? Lakewood Nelson. New Mexico. Correct. Seven, bonus. What is the term for any word, phrase, or action that serves as a signal in a performance for something to occur, such as an actor's entrance or exit or a change in lighting? Conducting. Incorrect, Captain. No, sir. Q. Eight, toss up. What president was born in the house described in this passage? In Kentucky, about 50 miles. Creekside, Meredith. Abraham Lincoln. Correct. Nine, bonus. In miles per hour, what is a car's speed that takes four minutes to go one mile? Sixty. Incorrect, Captain. Forty. Incorrect. Fifteen miles per hour. Ten. Toss up. What is the changing of a liquid into a solid by removing the heat called? To toss up. Creekside Dupin. Freezing. Correct. Eleven. Bonus. What is the product of 25 and 19? Four hundred and seventy five. Correct. Twelve toss up. What is the ordinal number of the closed ballet position in which the dancer's feet form a straight line perpendicular to the body with heels touching? Creekside, Caderas. 180. Incorrect. Lakewood, Reinhardt. 360. Incorrect. First. 13, toss up. What is the common name for a huge amount of condensed water vapor floating in air? Creekside, Meredith. Fog. Incorrect. Lakewood, Sharma. Cloud. Correct. 14, bonus. Fred was caught telling a lie and his teacher told him that his nose seemed to be getting longer. This, uh, this is an allusion to what Italian story? Pinocchio. Correct. 15, Tassa. The international date line runs down what ocean? Lakewood, Hamilton. Pacific Ocean. Correct. 16, bonus. What architectural structure is hemispherical? Globe. Globe. Incorrect. No Captain. answer. A dome. 17, toss up. How many prime numbers greater than 10 and less than 100 are divisible by three? Lakewood Sharma. Zero. Correct. 18, bonus. 
All the stars in the northern hemisphere appear to rotate around what star? North Star. Correct. 19. Toss up. Express the proper noun Mexico as a proper adjective. Creekside Caderas. New Mexico? Incorrect. Lakewood Reinhardt. Mexican. Correct. 20. Bonus. On <coughs> December 21st, the longest period of daylight occurs in which hemisphere? Northern. Incorrect, Captain. Southern. Correct. 21. Toss up. What is the comparative adjective in this statement by Oliver Wendell Holmes? The reward of the general is not a bigger tent, but command. Creekside Caderas. Bigger. Correct. 22. Bonus. Name the biological process by which food is broken down so it can be used by the body. Digested. Correct. 23. Toss up. Two thirds of a number is 24. What is the number? To toss up. Toss up. Creekside Caderas. 16. Incorrect. Lakewood Nelson. 8. Incorrect. 36. 24. Toss up. Name the westernmost state with large naval bases. Creekside Caderas. California. Incorrect. Lakewood Nelson. Warden. Incorrect. Hawaii. 25. Toss up. Using tools to hammer, bend, and cut, what kind of craftsman makes wrought iron gate? Creekside Dupin. Blacksmith. Correct. 26. Bonus. What nation lies on a peninsula vaguely shaped like a boot extending into the Mediterranean? Italy. Correct. 27. Toss up. What form of art is illustrated by ancient figurines made of clay, Native American pots, Greek amphorae, wall tiles, plates, bowls, and cups? Lakewood Hamilton. Pottery. Incorrect. Creekside Caderas. Carving. Incorrect. Ceramics. 28. Toss up. Round this number to the nearest thousandth. 8.382913. <clears throat> Creekside Caderas. Eight and three hundred eighty two thousands. Incorrect. Time eight point three eight three. Twenty eight twenty nine toss up. When a glacier meets a sea coast, its leading edge lifts and floats in the water. Name the chunks of ice that break away into the water. Lakewood Reinhardt. Iceberg. Correct. Thirty. Bonus. What part of speech is omitted three times in this ill-begotten sentence? Can you lend me crate of to tomatillos till end of month? Noun. Incorrect, Captain. Adjective. Judge. He said adjective. He said adjective. Incorrect. And that is the end of the second half. And the score is tied. Creekside 14, Lakewood 14. Since the score is tied, to break the tie, we'll have five toss-up questions. At the end of that, whoever is ahead is the winner. Toss up. In square dancing, what call is given to get partners to face one another and then circle around each other, passing right and then left shoulders back to the original position? Creekside Meredith. Swing your partner. Incorrect. 
Lakewood Sharma. Waltz. Incorrect. Do -si do <coughs> Two, toss up. This ad by Mobile Oil was an allusion to what literary work? Follow your own yellow brick road. Creekside Meredith. The Wizard of Oz. Correct. <laughs> three, toss up. What three states have only four letters in their names? Time, Ohio, Iowa, Utah. Four, toss up. You bought four giant earthworms for $10 and sold them for $3.25 each. How much profit did you make? Creekside Dupin. Four dollars. Incorrect. Lakewood Sharma. Three dollars. Correct. <laughs> Five. Toss up. <clears throat> what kind of tide occurs when ocean water flows as far inland as it can? Creekside Caderas. High tide. Correct. <laughs> okay, at the end of the overtime, it, the score is Creekside 16, Lakewood 15. Congratulations to the winning team and to both teams for an excellent competition. Join us for our next WizKids competition.